Hello, I'm going to try to show you step by step what is more or less the best way to upload videos to Rhino3D.tv. So select the video and upload it to your account on uh, YouTube. Remember to write the name, a short description. So I'm going to type command taper for Rhino 4.0. Let me copy and paste. And don't forget to uh, add the tags. Uh, over here, I'm just going to write uh, Rhino Fab Lab. Let me choose uh, Education. And after I enter all this information, I save it. All right. So once you save it, right there, save it. Make sure YouTube finished uploading your video. Then click on videos, right? This is very important. Click edit the information, all right? Let me select that. And over here, you have the chance to pick one out of three thumbnails you have to be lucky sometimes they don't make sense in this case I'm gonna select that one down here on the bottom do not allow comment and do not allow voting I don't like that okay now you can enter your location whatever and we are almost ready just save the changes and go back to videos all right notice that everything has been updated so let's go back to videos now select the video click on it all right, you should see the video coming up and it is time to share that video. Share, stop the video, click on embedded and only check the one that says use old embedded code all right that's all you have to do and copy the code that you need to paste on tv so let's say i want to add this video add video this is where you paste that code perfect there you have to fill out all of these and do not forget the tags. Those are very, very important. Without those, our users would not be able to find your videos. So, I'm writing taper, transform, rhino, R4, etc. So this is it. Now we have the video. Now let's add a little photo to show more or less what the video is all about. So let me go to my folder. There I have already a photograph. Let me upload it.
All right, it doesn't take that much time. Uh, change the title, the description, and do not forget the tags. Those are very, very important. Let me copy paste. All right, and I'm going to type that this video was made by Andres Gonzalez, okay? So I can go back, find out the link of that video, go back and paste that link. Isn't that easy? One more time. The tags, taper, transform, editing, Rhino 4.0, etc, etc. And that's it. All right, check the spelling. All right. Let's hit OK. And now I have my video. Let's check that it's working. What I like is that when I play it, I can choose the resolution and maximize it. Full screen inside Rhino 3D.TV, so I do not have to jump to YouTube in order to see the video. I could stay on TV. Thank you, and I hope this helps a little bit.